In this tutorial, I'll show you how to solve rate problems leading to fractional equations. This is question three. The question reads, a small hydroelectric generating station can produce 61 gigajoules of energy per year. After four months of operation, another generator is added, which by itself can produce 39 gigajoules in five months. How many additional months are needed for a total of 95 gigajoules to be produced? To answer this type of question, we'll need to know the following formula, where the amount of flow is equal to the flow rate times the time. Let's account for the flow rate of the smaller generating station. So let's call it small. And its flow rate, which we'll represent as FR, is equal to 61 gigajoules per year. What's unfortunate about this particular rate is that it's in terms of years, whereas everything else is in terms of months. So we should change this from one year to 12 months, just so that we're consistent. So 61 gigajoules every 12 months. Whereas for the next generator that's being added, let's call it the large generator, it has a flow rate of 39 gigajoules every five months. So now that we have their flow rates, we also have the time in which this generator has been running. We are told that this generator has been running four months longer than the one that is added next. So to represent its time, we have to write down T plus four months, four months longer than initial. And the time for this one will simply be T, four months more than the new one that's being used. They're asking how many additional months are needed for a total of 95 gigajoules. So this number right here represents the amount of flow or the total amount of flow. And therefore, what we can do is add the flow rate of this one to this, and you should end up with a total of 95. So let's write that in. 95 is the total, and that's equal to the small plus the large. By solving an equation like this, we will end up with T, and that will give us the answer to the additional months that are needed. So 95 is equal to 61 over 12 times T plus 4 months plus 39 over 5 times T. Let's multiply this 61 over 12 into the T and into the 4. 61 over 12 times 4, multiplying this by 4, you should end up with 61 over 3. 61 over 3. And this part remains the way it is, 39t over 5, and here we have 95. These two terms, this one and this one, can be combined, where we have 61 over 12 plus... 39 over 5, and this gives us 773 over 60. And of course, your calculator might give you the decimal version of that. I'm just going to use this because it's more accurate. 773 over 60, 773 over 60, don't forget the T, plus 61 over 3. Bringing this over to the left side, we end up with 95 subtracted 61 over 3. Dividing both sides now by this, divide that by 773 over 60, and we end up with 5.79 is equal to T. What this means is that this new generator needs to work 5.8 months, an additional 5.8 months, to produce 95 gigajoules along with the small one that's already been working 4 months plus the 5.8. And so there you have it. That is how to solve rate problems leading to fractional equations.